Good evening online. Two more topics are left related to NFPA 13, the zone control valve assembly and this uh, alarm check valve. Okay, so let me complete this top topic so that we can proceed uh, with IBC, then after IBC and FP 14. Okay, so you see this, these points are important, this topic is important. First, we'll talk about this uh, alarm check valve. Okay. So first of all, the location of alarm check valve. So if you want, you can make a note of this point, which is not in the notes. So heading, main heading, you can write alarm check valve. Let me show you the image. So under alarm check valve, first point you can write location. Yes, online. Those are working on site, they know this. So location of alarm check valve is, mm, I'll show you supply the pipe. Supply means, so, no doubt is supply pipe, but what is the exact location? Uh, in the main in the main line, right? Means in the pump discharge line, right? You can say pump discharge line. I'll show you one image, you'll get the clear idea. Uh, give me a minute. Let me let me open that image on screen. You see, let me mark the alarm check valve. You see, this this is alarm check valve. It's this one. Uh, sorry, not complete. Below that you'll find zone uh, this OSNY gate valve. This is alarm check valve. And you see, with alarm check valve, you can identify this line is supplying the water to sprinkler, sprinkler system. Yes, sir. Right. So this one, this complete, uh, say, accessories and all this, we used to call alarm check valve. So what are the components in this? I'll show you. So check valve, you know what is check valve? Check valve is a one-way valve or NRV. Yes. yes. So inside you'll find the check valve only but why we are calling alarm check valve whenever water start flowing or pass uh, through this valve what will happen the alarm will activate or we can say the water gong the mechanical type uh, uh, bell will start and uh, in this you'll find this uh, pressure uh, so flow switch also that will also help to activate the system. So series of operations. So let me play one small video clip, one animated video. You'll get the components of this. But before this, one minute, let me show you the detail drawing first. For this, I'll share you this detail drawing. This is not in the data. This is updated one. This will also help to identify this components. You see alarm check file assembly. This one here is connected to the pump. Uh, a discharge line here and before connecting this alarm check valve will will add this OSNY gate valve also okay so it's a good idea to discuss first about OSNY gate valve then the video for this alarm check valve so I think everyone aware of this gate valve online gate valve yes yes so everyone know what is gate valve but in firefighting you'll find OSNY gate valve so what is OSNY gate valve if you want, you can make, make a note, outside screw and yoke. Yes. Gate valve. In short, OSNY, it's an outside screw and yoke gate valve. So gate valve, you know the purpose. When it is open, fully open. When it's closed, fully closed. But in firefighting, we are using OSNY type. The reason is, you see, simply you can identify from outside whether it's an open or in closed position. So experienced people can able to answer this this OSNY gate valve I'll show you in detail don't worry what do you think it is in open position or closed position closed 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 is the correct closed answer. position see you cannot see this screw only only limited part of the screw if the screw is visible means uh, visible here then it is in open position here you cannot see this screw means it is in closed position how exactly let me show you mm, one minute I'm not getting the relevant image now you see you see this inside you'll find the gate you know what is gate valve this part is yes. valve. the additional is os and y here outside now you see the screw is visible it means it is in open position open open yeah uh, if the screw for example like this this is the closed one and you can verify can you see this gate inside is visible so it is closed means screw you see the screw is down so it it is it, it is closing the gate but when the screw is on up means when you rotate the gate will go up and you can able to see this screw so if you see this part of the screw means it is fully open or partly open if you if if you mm -hmm. cannot see this screw means 
it's a closed position it means mm. just with the outside appearance you can identify whether it is open or closed and now the second question so first first point you can write location location and uh, hyphen pump discharge line generally in the in the riser and no uh, location for what uh, this uh, alarm check valve but before alarm check valve you will find this os and y gate valve so what do you think what will be the normal position of os and y gate valve it's going to be open position or closed position always open yes always open okay some suppose by mistake at the time of maintenance if someone close any fire occur means the system will not work yes that's the reason for physical identification or just to verify whether it's open or closed this option is there but apart from this in actual practice you'll find os and os and y gate valve with tamper switch uh, here you see let me open can can you see one one switch here one device yes ha huh. this is additional so this tamper switch will also help to indicate the position of this os and y gate valve to the panel so this is uh, optional as per nfpa uh, but in some projects you'll find this uh, tamper switch also or supervised reset switch okay tamper switch or supervised reset switch with os and y gate valve for additional safety so when it is open or close this tamper switch will 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 uh, will sense and uh, how it will sense i'll show you it's a simple mechanism and will give the pro and will provide the indication or signal to the control panel so in that control panel you can find out whether it's open or close position so let me quickly show you this uh, tamper switch first of all got the idea about os and y gate valve only yes yes sir yes, yes, sir. yes sir. Uh, so remember when it is open fully open and it is normal position is in open position okay so normal condition is should be in open position except at the time maintenance or some some breakdown okay next so what about this tamper switch the tamper switch you'll find uh, so i have shared an image in the group can you check it once whatsapp group so is in y gate valve so where is the tamper switch in mm, there is no tamper switch in this Okay. Okay. Tamper switch is optional. You will not find in all the project. Say for additional safe. So as per NFP is not mandatory, but as per the project specification or this authority, you may add. So give me a minute. Let me let me show you that. Also, one thing, sir. Uh, mm -hmm. What is the difference between tamper switch and the pressure switch? Mm, both are different. We'll discuss both. You'll get the clear idea. So let me complete the tamper switch. Then okay, this okay. Uh, flow switch. You'll get the clear idea. Both are totally different. Tamper switch just to indicate the position of this uh, OS and Y gate valve, but purpose of flow switch is different. One minute, please. I did some change the location of the file. Give me one minute, please. So I'm going to play play my small video clip uh, for all this. Start with the gate valve, okay? Then tamper switch. Then we'll talk about alarm check valve. Then end with the zone control valve assembly, okay? so this videos will help you to get the clear idea especially for beginners so let me quickly share the screen with the video mode which the first video is for os and y gate valve simple concept i believe the video is visible this yes, online no 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 sir no one no. i think i have not shared the screen yet now it's visible no not yet yeah, yeah, yeah. right now sir fine please have a look This black color is a gate. Yes. You see, when you can see the screw means it is an open. When it is very close or no screw means in close position. no confusion no? next mm. we will talk about this tamper switch tamper switch is additional so this video will help you tamper or supervisory switch the new potter osysu supervisory switch is used to monitor the position of an osny type valve it is a three position switch with the center position being normal normal is when the switch is installed on the valve the valve is fully open and the trip lever of the switch is sitting down in the groove of the valve stem. 
As the valve is closing, the valve stem moves in while the trip lever of the OSYSU rides up and out of the groove and trips the switch. Also, if the switch were removed from the valve, the spring would pull the trip lever over and activate the switch. There are three visual indicators on the OSYSU to help with the installation. When the device is in the normal position, the white mark will be visible through the window. The trip lever will be lined up with the mark on the mounting bracket. And finally, the switch buttons will be depressed by the switch actuator. An ohm meter, or continuity tester, should always be used to confirm the installation. The switches are marked for a normal, valve open condition. Most OSNY type valves come from the manufacturer with the groove for the OSYSU switch already machined into the valve stem. If the groove is not there, you'll need to file a groove. Use a 3 16th inch or one. I think you got the idea of the concept, right? Yes. Yes. So, then it's a one kind of a proximity switch. Um. Yes, you can say. Yeah. Okay. For just. Uh, can you explain again. Yes. Yes. Online. Can you explain again, sir? I'm not. Oh, you see, again. it's very simple. Uh, here in this video, you can find out. You see, here, this switch is installed on OS and Y gate valve. Here is a groove. So whenever you rotate this handle, the this shaft will will move now so whenever the shaft move this uh, switch uh, shaft will out of the groove when it is out of the groove means some movement will take place and with that movement it will activate and give the signal the position of this normal position means it is straight in the groove are you getting my point just to indicate whether it is open or close so whenever you rotate if it is this shaft is not in the groove then you'll get the signal and in, uh, in the control panel the position mm. of this so additional additional safety okay for indication so it's a, it's not a, uh, right a part of this os and y it can be installed as a separate mm. okay can i proceed to the next yes uh, next after this uh, we'll talk about this alarm check valve so here is a detailed drawing for alarm check valve but in the detailed drawing you may not get the idea so let me play the video then after that you can able to read this detailed drawing and i'll share you all this detailed drawing this updated one is not in the in the notes so in the data i'll share you uh, tonight through mail okay so here in this osny gate valve uh, in this uh, alarm check valve you'll find the check valve you'll find this uh, pressure gauges you all you'll find this a water gong means uh, for the bell also automatic retarding chamber here you can find and the pressure switch so let me play the video then we'll discuss more about this you see this is a check valve can you see this Yes. Yeah. NRV. It's an alarm check file. You see this pressure gauge to read the pressure before this valve. This is after the valve. And this can be used at the time of testing also. And on the right side, you'll find the drain line. So this pressure gauges, this NRV, you can understand. Even the drain also you can understand. What about this retarding chamber? This one. Anyone have idea? Uh, you see, this retarding chamber is installed in this to avoid the false signaling. So because of small pressure difference, the alarm may activate or this pressure switch may provide the signal. So to avoid the false signaling, this retarding chamber is installed. So this will help to avoid the false signaling. If the enough pressure is maintained or if, uh, sensed, then only it will it will it will give uh, it will help to activate the system. So simply remember, retarding chamber is used to avoid the false alarming. Next, here this is a press uh, flow switch. And then this is the alarm water gong.
you see flow meter is different i'm not talking about flow meter flow switch this is flow switch flow meter you'll find at the pump side for the testing point of view so even also many times i'll also get the confusion so flow meter is different flow switch is different so here there's a flow switch whenever the flow start this switch will help to uh, give the signal to the uh, system to indicate the alarm and to perform other other operations and and this uh, bell will ring because of this flow of water this is a mechanical type bell so whenever uh, the system start in case of fire you know suppose assume that sprinkler break and when the sprinkler break the water will start flowing through this alarm check valve so when when the water start flowing the flow switch sends uh, and give the signal so it will activate the main alarm and the water gong also activate so this alarm uh, check valve you will find in the main line for sprinkler system okay got the idea online yes next we have one more topic to discuss zone control valve assembly it's not zone control valve it's a zone control valve assembly generally in actual practice we used to call zone control valve but it's not a single one it's a assembly so uh, this is also important so first of all the location so next you can write zone control valve assembly under zone control valve assembly first point you can write you can write location okay let me confirm this in the drawing also so in your data you can find out the drawing folder under this you'll find one complete project for your reference so let me open any floor say ground floor so the purpose of zone control valve assembly will discuss but first of all where you'll find the zone control valve assembly online uh before the branch line before the branch line means in the cross main right cross main yes so here let me confirm in the drawing first you see here when i zoom this mm, these are the risers okay now in this three riser yes uh one minute it's not written here you'll find in the next drawing so in this magenta color you see magenta color line is for sprinkler hmm. and here this is a location of zone control valve okay i'll give you the clear idea in the other drawing this is creating confusion let me open the other drawing now you see it's clearly given here so magenta color line is for sprinkler you can verify you see this line is connected to the main line and this all connected to the branches so he this is a location of zone control valve so in the location you can write on each floor first point on each floor cross main so each floor cross main means it means suppose if the building with 10 floor building means you'll find 10 zone control valve assembly right yes but can it be more than that in 10 floor building uh, second point you can yes, write sir. yes online suppose 10 floor building means 10 zone control valve assembly each mm -hmm. floor one so can it be more than one okay sorry can it be more than 10 yes how? Yes, yes, depend on the floors. Of the uh, floor depend, area. Right, right. Depend on the floor area. So you can write second point. If the number of sprinkler exceed 280, then additional zone control valve assembly is required. 280, sir. 280. And this refers to 52,000 square feet area. Generally, ordinary is that 52,000 square feet area means the number of sprinklers is going to be 280. How much area, sir? Oh, one minute, one minute. Here. One minute, please. So, number of, uh, number of sprinklers is 280. 280 multiply with 4. Multiply with 130. Mm, two, 280 multiply with uh, how much is area? 225, now. No, it's not working. 280 multiply with 200. 56. Okay, so the area limitation is, uh, you know, for light and ordinary has that 52,000 square feet area. No? One system, mm. 2,000. That, that is a reference. So commonly, you'll get in 280, 280 number of sprinklers. If it is more than that, suppose 
a floor with uh, say 350 sprinklers okay so we require two zone control assembly means two separate systems yes. okay now we'll discuss what are the accessories in zone control valve assembly simple let me open one image now on screen can you able to find some accessories i'll play one video also i'll get the clear idea but before this you see what are the components of zone control assembly can you find this osny gate valve with the tamper switch yes tamper switch is optional but osny gate valve and here's the pressure gauge and what about this flow switch okay and this is a drain line and the additional in this is check valve okay so all together this we can call zone control valve assembly but don't worry this is not there we'll verify this in the detail drawing and i'll play the video also and in the video you'll find the information about this uh, flow switch also how the flow switch works yes. Just a minute let me open this detail drawing first that that will help you to get the idea anyhow the drawing also will help but in the detail drawing you can compare this with the detail drawing also Hmm. This is taken from one uh, UE consultant. So from consultant to consultant, you'll find slight difference in the detail drawings. So on the screen, you see what are the components. Here you see, instead of OS and Y gate valve, you'll find this butterfly valve and it's a motorized type. But here in this image, this is OS and Y gate valve. Yes. So OS and Y gate valve or butterfly valve, you can use any. But this is a manual type. But in here, one minute, where is that? This is a motorized type. Okay. Remotely also we can operate this, but this is the normal position, whatever, whether you're using this butterfly valve, motorized type or the OSNY gate valve, the normal position is in open only. Okay. It's not mm. used to uh, regulate. This is completely open position. In case of maintenance, we can use this one, but the normal position is, is open. The motorized will help to remove uh, to operate remotely in case of maintenance to close. Okay, mm -hmm. but uh, the normal position is should, should be open only. Next, you see here the flow switch. The function of flow switch will discuss. Don't worry. Then the pressure gauge in the drawing is given here. You can add the pressure gauge here, 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 or somewhere here. No issue. Okay, and this line is a drain line. And this you see test and drain point. This one or test and drain valve, uh, you see drain valve unit. So you'll find three points in this. One is a close, second is a set test, and third is drain. So this, the handle can operate with the three position. Close means, you know, you can understand. Test means only limited amount of water will flow. Drain means complete will flow. And this is used at the time of testing, functional testing. After completing the installation, functional testing is required, whether the system is working properly or not. So we cannot break the sprinkler no? and the flow is required in the in the line then only uh, the flow switch will give the signal and the system can activate. So for that reason also this uh, test test line is required. So at the time of testing, we'll set this knob to the test. So the flow will start, the, the flow will, uh, will start. And whenever flow start, this flow switch will give the signal to the control system, means the panel and uh, the pump will on and the, the the water will supply to the main line and from the main line to this uh, to this cross main and it will drain it will not uh, supply to the sprinkler at the time of testing in case of actual in actual in case of uh, this actual condition or if the really fire occurred the water will supply to the sprinkler instead of this drain so this is for test and drain line and this is a complete drain line so got the idea about the components online I'll play the video, you'll get more clear idea about this flow switch, how this will work. You'll find the vein here, the when the when, whenever the water flow start flow, the vein will 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 turn and uh, it will uh, activate this this flow switch. So let me play the video, you'll get the clear idea. The screen is visible, right? Yes, yes, sir. Zone control valve. This is what flow switch. Can you find the vein here? And this mm. is going to be installed. Mm, the pipe will run. Mm. Yes. We'll do the means uh, on the top of the pipe. We'll cut and we'll we'll put this vein inside and flow. So you'll find the rubber. So there.
No. You see, this is zone control valve assembly. Yes. Here in this image also the motorized uh, butterfly valve. Yes. But generally we are using OSN by gate valve. Mm -hmm. Depend as per the location and consultant. But the purpose is same. It is it should be in open position. Here is a flow switch pressure gauge day line. You see, this is a normal position. Okay, normal position. The valve is on and the water is completely charged in the line. Next. Uh, whenever you open this, the water will start flowing through this, uh, uh, this flow switch. Water is flowing. Can you see the position of vein? This will activate this flow switch. And here you can see the panel in this control panel. So it's indicating sprinkler zone flow 10. Okay. Mm. So this uh, each uh, flow switch uh, is going to configure in the panel with the flow number or location. So that uh, suppose if far in uh, say ninth floor, this will help to um, miss indicate it's on nine floor so that they can that we can take action so this is like here is addressable panel so this will help so this will help to indicate uh, as well as to activate the system okay so i think we got the idea so zone control valve assembly this will the name will give you the idea this is for zoning because in case of fire in one floor the water will not supply or uh, uh, to all the floors it will su mm. supply to that uh, particular floor and, and that will help to indicate okay clear online yes, sir. so i'll share you this uh, detailed drawings tonight Mm, this will also help. Apart from this, you'll find some other some other detailed drawings for your reference, and you already have this uh, complete uh, project for your reference. Okay. Uh, so with this, we did this NFPA thirteen, but still the pump selection, pump selection uh, is you'll find or the pump related uh, points you'll find in NFPA twenty, but the system demand we got in the sprinkler system, the same system demand we'll use for pump selection, and thus even the system demand for standard system can be used for pump selection in nfpa 14 so all are interrelated okay so, so next i have one doubt yes please uh, sir how to size that drain pipe size one minute let me drain pipe generally we are considering half inch right yes yes half inch size uh, one minute i think uh, we are no we are not size we'll take the standard as half inch as per my uh, experience, anyone need the sizing for this? Or uh, if any reference from NFPA, I'll let you know because uh, okay. Okay. generally we are taking this half inch only. Okay, so with this, we did this NFPA 13. So, only limited time. So, I'll not start IBC today because IBC, in that we have one case study. It's a one class topic only, but uh, important. Mm -hmm. IBC is, uh, I'll give you just idea. IBC is an uh, industrial building course. And why we are talking about IBC? Because in IBC, we are going to consider chapter three and chapter nine. Chapter three to understand the types of building, chapter nine to understand the different type of sprinkler system applicable as per the type of system. Actually, this, uh, this information will use at the initial stage of project. Then why I'm explaining after the sprinkler system? Because at the initial stage, if I explain all this, uh, so I need to take the reference of system. So without knowing the system, it is difficult to talk about this different type of system as per the building time. Let's say is in, in, in training, I used to uh, uh, explain this uh, topic after sprinkler system, because still now you have idea about this uh, sprinkler, sprinkler system and uh, this uh, this uh, extinguishers and some basic of about the fire and this uh, standpipe system etc so you can able to understand this topic okay so ibc will help you to take the decision which system is applicable as per the type of building okay but nfpa provide the course for the calculation 
even in NFPA 101, you'll find this information. So you can use NFPA 101 or IPC. Any, I'll give you the concept. With the concept, can, the concept can be used uh, when you get the project in actual practice to decide which system is applicable with the reference. So we'll deal with one case study also in the next session.